Now, the National Council of Churches of Kenya, NCCK, is now calling for the resignation of Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nahumita for failing to avert the ongoing human resource crisis in the health sector. The council has accused Nahumita of laxity in managing the strikes of by doctors, clinical officers and medical laboratory officers union, which have left a thousand of Kenyans unable to access treatment. The clergy also want Cabinet Secretary for agriculture and these transport counterpart to step aside following the fake fertilizer scandal and the increased road accidents witnessed in recent months. NCCK Nairobi Region Chairman Alphonse Kanga says that uh, the wanton suffering endured by patients in public hospitals should be enough a reason for the CS to vacate office. He said this and I quote, if I was the Minister of Health by this time, either if one person dies in some countries because there is something wrong, it is either she fixes it or a step out. It is simple. It is not the people of my caliber who are suffering. A bishop can afford to go to Aga Khan Hospital, but their grandmother Yule Yukomashinani cannot afford, so we want to see the president talk about it, solve this problem, and let people live well in this nation. And of course, the men of cloth also raised concern of our agriculture cabinet secretary Mithuka Linturi for failing to rein in on those involving in the suspected fake fertilizer fiasco. Kunga accused the CS of shielding individuals who are out to swindle unsuspecting farmers through the government fertilizer subsidy program. With the rising statistics of road carnage, the NCCK officials say Transport Cabinet Secretary Kiptumba Murkomen has work to do to tame the situation. By late March, more than a thousand people had died in road accidents, way higher than trends in previous years. Despite the mounting pressure, there has been no direct response from President William Ruto on the three issues of health, fertilizer and road carnage. This is the Cuban news.